Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Monica and Tracy made an excellent choice with GH. Monica returns home just in time to deal with Finn's malpractice case in the General Hospital recap for Friday, December 15, 2023. In this episode, Christina revealed the baby idea to Sonny, TJ confessed in Stella, Alexis confided in Gregory, Robert and Diane returned to her house, and Carly slammed Ava. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. An ethical and legal catch-22. Finn's malpractice case had everyone talking at the hospital. After Portia approved his new case's treatment plan, he was directed to Monica's office. Uh oh, Finn sensed something was wrong, that it wasn't. Tracy, in addition to Monica, was present for a chat. They warned him that today was the day the hospital would decide what to do with him. They could agree to settle or support him in court. Finn was certain of his conduct, regardless of what the hospital thought. Monica and Tracy ultimately decided to continue with the doctor. Tracy informed Finn, and Monica informed Dede. Finn was relieved, but Dede was enraged. Was Monica really willing to put the hospital in jeopardy like this? She was not pleased. Emmy was concerned about her personal role in the case the entire time. She was one of the nurses who would be called to the stand as a witness. After contacting Portia and getting nowhere, she confided in Liz. Liz advised her to simply tell the truth and everything would be ok. Diane was out with Robert, Tristan Rogers, across town, but her thoughts was in the courtroom. She revealed her plan to tear Finn apart in court if he did anything wrong. Any good lawyer would do the same. However, Robert was uninterested in the legal drama. He was far more intrigued by other things. When Diane invited him home, he got his wish. Christina went to the Metro Court with Sonny and Donna to celebrate the little girl's wonderful report card. They pumped her up, had some fun with her, and then sent her to the kitchen to observe how dessert is cooked. Christina and Sonny chatted about Donna's life when she was out of sight. Christina boasted about her new business, the bar, and how well it was doing. Sonny was curious about his daughter's private life. Is she in possession of one? So about that... Christina informed Sonny of her surrogacy plans. Sonny was naturally concerned. He expressed his support while also asking pertinent questions. Plus, one Christina hadn't considered. What does her new woman companion think of everything? TJ also spoke up about the baby predicament. He chatted to Stella about whether they were doing the right thing. He acknowledged that he wasn't sure he could rely on Christina. Is it going to be too much for her? Alexis was wondering the same thing. She complained to Gregory about the entire scenario. She was glad to hear Christina wanted to take the lead, but would she be able to walk away when the time came? She wasn't certain. Meanwhile, when Carly, Laura Wright, dropped Avery off with Ava, Mora West, things quickly became uncomfortable. She realized Ava was concerned and inquired as to what was going on. Ava tried to blame everything on the move, but Carly wasn't buying it, especially because Ava had talked about everything but Austin's death. Suspicious. Carly didn't call Ava a murderer openly, but she did suggest it. She pressed Ava to at the very least notify Sunny if she did kill the doctor. At the very least, for Avery's sake. Allow him to assist, so that Avery does not have to endure another period of Ava's absence. Jackie Zaman was always a dream to work with, Martin explains to Soap Hub. She was so dedicated to the show that she was always the first to contact me when she received a new script. She was always grateful to Wendy Rich, executive producer slash writer, and me for putting her character in a script, and she always came to work with such zeal. Daytime veteran Nicholas Costa, who played Sophia's husband, Jack Madison, and died in June, is also being remembered by the soap. Nicholas was also a consummate professional on set. He was a true legend, so the opportunity to work with him and direct him in anything was incredible, Martin says. He never had a problem bringing his A-game and delivering the character with such grace and perfection. 
he's a fantastic actor. Zeman's Sophia, on the other hand, will continue in episodes that will air until Friday, December 29. We created a wonderful special montage to honor the characters that Jackie and Nicholas portrayed in today's 100th episode, Martin said. Before The Bay became a long-form drama series in 2015, Jackie and Nick played Sophia and Mayor Jack Madison in a 12-minute web series. For the tribute and moving forward, we will keep Nicholas Costa's memory alive for his portrayal of Jack, Martin said. I could never play Sophia again. We have some ideas about how to keep Jackie's character, Sophia, on the canvas without having to recast her. The show has received Daytime Emmy nominations for Outstanding Daytime Drama Series, Outstanding Writing, and Outstanding Directing. The 50th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards will air on CBS on Friday, December 15th at 9pm. Is Sasha Gilmore Corbin's present for Cody appropriate for a friend or more? Spoilers for General Hospital's December 15, 2023 episode, teasing disclosures and deception disputes. Sasha also gets the holiday season started a little early. You won't want to miss this episode only for that reason. Sasha, Sophia Matson, and Cody, Josh Kelly, are co-workers and friends without benefits for now. Sasha has made the adult decision that she is not ready for a relationship since she is still suffering with the devastation imposed on her. As a result, Cody took the equally mature decision to wait for her. They are the faces of deception, comparing one picture session and Zoom meeting after another until they are able to proceed with a romance. As a result, the gorgeous combination has gained worldwide recognition for their sizzling chemistry. Maxi, Kirsten Storms, claims otherwise. So what happens when Sasha sends a gift to her friend Cody? What is the significance of this gift? What will the steady guy say? More importantly, how will he reciprocate this wonderful gesture? Is Mayor Laura Collins still grieving over Dante hunting her Miley Cyrus bubble? She ought to be. He revealed to her what her brother has been up to, and it isn't simply sweeping floors at the Port Charles Grill. When she meets with Sonny, the ex schemes are bound to be at the top of her agenda. Obviously, she'll be looking for confirmation of all Dante has told her. Right. In addition to Laura's meeting with Sonny, her deputy mayor is meeting with Alexis. During their conversation, Jordan is likely to reveal anything to the invader's boss lady. Now, does Jordan expect a big media outlet's editor-in-chief to retain knowledge or information that is given to her? Or does she want Alexis to reveal this information to the rest of the world? Brooklyn and Maxie are back in the realm of beauty and makeup following Brooklyn's great deception. The music manager's connection with Lucy, on the other hand, remains tense. The two highly strong and vocal women are smack dab in the thick of a fight. Lucy is not easily forgiven. And, while Brooklyn admits to her shady behavior, she rarely backs down during an argument. Who will be victorious? Finally, Brooklyn's client is surprised. Is it related to Blaze's music career? Is it because Christina is ready to notify her about her sister's pregnancy? Anyone would be astonished to learn this and wonder what it implies for their blossoming relationship. In case you missed it, Soap Hub's very own in-house critic gives his succinct and passionate review of the young and the restless week that was every Sunday. If you miss their most recent review, click here to catch up and then provide your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.